you're gonna go here, maybe bring a little bit of Spanish. Because <laughs> I won't survive here. They, they barely speak English. And I barely survive here and I, I sort of understand Spanish. I can speak very minimal of it. After touring around the pyramids, it's doing like an hour, oh no, about three yeah. hour work, uh, three hour walk. Uh, we're gonna be eating in Las Grutas. It's uh, a restaurant inside the cave. So let's try them out. Oh wow. Jamaica? Uh, it's spelled Jamaica. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Las Grutas, this restaurant is highly recommended in the internet. That's why we go here. And there's a lot of people come here because it's a restaurant inside a cave. If you're gonna go here on the weekend, best to have a reservation. But since it's Monday today and we didn't... We, for yeah, we, we forgot to do reservations, good thing. It's they accommodate not us. Yeah, it's not that busy. And right now, we're just gonna wait in here in the garden. And we don't mind, the garden is beautiful. Uh, this is basically everything that they're serving here is showing their culture food. Uh, this is the actual like old area that their natives lived on. And they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> the flavor in the drink is citric and sweet. And it's not as strong. Okay. Wow. Well, I'll try that. The, the server here is really good. We basically didn't check the menu. He recommends food for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're saying that uh, later on, uh, there is a surprise for us. Uh, after we eat. After we eat. It's like the uh, history of La Gruta. So, we can go there later. Yeah. Um, we're excited for the food. Yeah, always. Starter. So this is basically our uh, salsa, like regular salsa. And this, the darker one is prickly pear. It's a little bit, this is spicier than this one. I don't do much spicy. I'm gonna try the spicy one. It's not that spicy. If your tolerance with spicy is strong, then it's not. Mm. 
Ya está guapo como hoy. Chicharrones y guacamole. So. Mmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You should try it. It's a I haven't seen to chat on the in a guacamole. So yeah. let's try this. Mm. Alright, alright. So good. Just that guacamole should be fine. This is the pre-spanning drink. Mm -hmm. And this is a surprise for you. <laughs> Gosh, yes. Thank you. This is the chili ancho. It's mm -hmm. not spicy. It's a handmade artisanal tea. And the drink is the hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is my surprise drink. I thought the waiter surprised me. And dang, I love it. It's made of hibiscus. Mm -hmm. But the surprise for me is the chicharrones awesome. and the guacamole. I didn't expect that. At first, when I saw it, when I saw it, it's like weird. But once you try it, Oh dang, it's so good. It works so well. Mm. Whoever think about this recipe, it's a genius. Yeah. You can't get enough. And we're just in the appetizer. This is just appetizer. Guys, it's coming your next time. You okay for now? Yeah, we're 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 doing great. Perfect. Everything is great. Look at him taking pictures. Mandatory. Okay, um, I don't know what to start. Um, of course, the pork belly. So, this is the molly from local molly. Mm. Like barbecue sauce. It's really good. This is banana. I got so much in my plate now. I got beans, rice, corn. I don't know what's this. Chicken. Yeah, chicken, beef, and then the mole. Mm -hmm. I tried the mole in Puebla, Puebla. and I don't I didn't like it. So let's try it again. Um, there's no. You you had. I don't have. You, you didn't take. 
get out. This is a lot better. It's good. Better than. Better than the one I tasted in Puebla. <laughs> but this is from Puebla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna let you guys go. We're gonna go ahead and eat. Mm -hmm. And later. He can't stop eating the guacamole and the chicharrones. It's just so good. Yeah, because I already finished my food. And it's all great. But this one's the best. I mean, the pork belly is good too. Like, I, I, I would say, one of my favorites. They're all good. I got this. I don't know what it's called, but it's so good. Guys, is the symbol for rebirth for you and for you. The tradition here is uh, 100 years before Christ. The Tlatuani, Tlatuani in Teotihuacan, is the name for the leader for the Aztecs. These people in this place dance and put offers, offers for Xolotl. Xolotl in the culture in Teotihuacan is a god really important. This god. He's the young god of fire and he's the only god possible life in the world of death and the world of life. And up there is the temple in honor for this god. In this temple they put bad memories, bad energy and bad things. After this god solo gives the fire for the Tlatuanis. The Tlatuanis take the fire and after when it is the case they ask for other god the name for the second god is Ehecatl, the god of the wind this god blows the wind and renew on the spirit on the fire the Tlatuani. when they finish the ritual they are a new people a new spirit a new energy now you put the candle and of this pair, you could hear your bad memories, your bad energy and bad things. Oh, wow. When you finish the ritual, you are a new people, a new spirit, a new energy. Oh, wow. You ready? Our server, um, Misael, is really great. Yeah, yeah. If you guys uh, go here and you need someone who's speaking to you in English, ask for Misael or Gunther. Gunther. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tradition before, like, uh, like with, uh, 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 with their god, their Mayan gods, and uh, this is before Christ. And then, uh, so basically, the, that fire was given by the god in this temple, and then they bring it outside. And then there's also, once they go to outside, there's a, a wind god, which is there's a shrine for it as well, and. Uh, so this is uh, a symbol of rebirth. So once you offer this fire to the temple and then you come outside, it means you got reborn. That's, that's the tradition. Now we are offering it to be reborn. <laughs> so 
so, plants. Yeah, it's it's nice to like being a part of like the progression. Mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, it's been offered to us, so let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, join us. This is the altar right here. The stairs. Um, this is where they operate. It's quite scary. So this is why we're trying to uh, like do traditions like this. I mean, it's not like we believe in it, but it's just amazing how you can still do whatever the people does. Um, uh, hundreds and thousands of years before Christ. Um, it's nice having like this type of, you know, tradition doing and makes you imagine what they do, what they do. So, uh, Misael said you offer it in the stairs. Yes. So. It was awesome. It is. The food, the ambience, and the experience is also awesome. Thank you for watching. That's it for now. Till next time.